He's coming. Hey there, homesteaders. It's a cloudy and smoky morning here in the desert, and today we're going to talk to you all about our pets. And in the kitchen, I'm going to show you one of the ways we make dog food for Momo and some treats for the chickens. He's mad. <sighs> mad kitty. Ah! Ah! Rakatan! <laughs> Chucky! Safety! Chucky loves us! He loves us. He doesn't attack us or nothing. Hey there, homesteaders! It's a cloudy and smoky morning here in the desert, and today we want to talk to you about our pets! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Chuck! Try. Momo, I'll pick you up! Oh, you want it so bad! Can I pick you up like a baby? Come on! Come on! Hey there, homesteaders. <laughs> it's a cloudy and smoky morning here in the desert, and today we want to talk to you about our pets. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Never that one. He was too excited. Hey there, homesteaders. It's a cloudy and smoky morning here in the desert, but today we're going to talk to you all about our pets. In the kitchen, I'm going to show you how we make dog food from home. Uh, Oh, uh, uh. Hi there, desert dwellers. What are you going to do in the kitchen? Today in the kitchen, I'm going to make some dog food for Momo. And I'm going to show you a treat that our chickens just go banana bonkers for. So grab your favorite critter and get ready to have some fun with us and our pets. Let's go. We're Kaliki and Brett, a rugged and adventurous gay couple who are sick and tired of clashing with life in the city. So we decided to head into the desert to chase our dreams and thrive. Along with our furry friends Chuck and Momo, we'll explore DIY projects, tiny house construction, gardening, hiking, cooking, and share what it looks like to jump headfirst into homesteading. So subscribe and join us on our dusty adventures to build this desert dwelling. Chucky loves his little spot. He loves it on all the wood chips down here where we like to grow mushrooms. You love it, Chucky? You good kitty?
we decided we're going to be culling our rooster tomorrow. And can't see him. I'll go around here, but we've sectioned him off. So he can't eat for the next 24 hours. Hi, Buffy. You did good. You're going to make some good dog food. You're just not quite right here. You're too mean for our couple hens. You can tell that Titsy and Special are not quite sure what's happening here. You were good. You did good. Unexpectedly a little stormy out today, which is kind of fun and My dad painted us some cool art for our chicken coop a while ago, and I haven't gotten around to putting it up So today since we're doing a pet episode, I thought it would be the perfect time to do that You might have seen them in shots here and there, but My dad Scott Campbell, a lot of you probably follow him on YouTube as well Painted these for us. And I'm just gonna put this one And this one here I'm gonna put these up on the door right there Like I said, it's a little stormy. It blew my camera over just now. Now there's a little bit better angle of Titsy down there, and you can see specials outside the run, around the side there. Anyway, let's hope the camera stays there. Well, you get the idea. I'm gonna put these cutouts up and then I'll go ahead and take some pictures after I get them done. <laughs> it's my favorite one. They look awesome. Really good with this. Now I gotta get this little baby bird up somewhere. I think that'll be real cute. And there we have the cute baby chick right next to their little door. So nice. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's the really cool art from my dad, Scott Campbell, I wanted to share in today's episode. I'm excited to have finally have gotten it up. Looks so great on there. I will leave a link in the description of his YouTube channel just in case you guys haven't seen it yet. You should definitely check it out. Our chicken coop, chicken run area is pretty much all done now. For the most part, they have their lane box right there. We have to work on their ramp a little bit. It got a little wild, it was super cute. And this weeping plum tree I planted a few years ago, it wasn't doing too good, and I'm gonna see if the chickens might be able to help it out. We'll see. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> All right, let's go see what Brett's up to in the kitchen. Oh, hi, Carol Ann. Come on in. To get started today, I'm gonna be breaking the chicken down. First, I'm going to remove the breast by running my knife down along the keel bone. Make sure your knife is sharp when you're doing this. Mine was not, which made it more difficult. These breasts are a lot smaller than a traditional meat chicken. And now I'm going to remove the leg and thigh going right between the joint and separate the leg from the thigh.
Finally, I'm going to be removing the meat from the bones. This is really where you'll want to have a sharp knife. It gives me anxiety just watching myself hack away at this bird with this dull knife. Once that's all done, I put the carcass, wings, neck, and bones into a pot of water to make a stock. Then I'm going to go out to the high tunnel and get a carrot for the raw part of his food. Who are you? What's your deal? Getting some sun. You're so cute. You're looking at me. Two breasts, thighs, legs. There's the gizzard. The lining pulled out. Heart. plan to feed your dog like this, there are certain ratios that you need to follow of meat to fat to bone, etc. But since this is more of a snack, I'm not too concerned with that. We'd like to feed Momo like this all the time, but right now it's not really feasible, so he only gets it every once in a while. Once that's all ground up, I'm going to put it in the freezer. I'm going to take the frozen food and just cut some thin slices off of that. Here's the broth I made, with the meat picked off the bones and added into it. Just gonna mix that together and it's ready for Momo. Momo, are you hungry? You could just completely make this food raw, but Momo always loves a little extra gravy. Is that good, Momo? You love it?
rub your head on it. You don't like it, you don't care. Well, he doesn't really care about that. Now it's time for the chicken's treat. This is water kefir that I've flavored with blackberries. Kaliki and I both really like water kefir. It's kind of like kombucha, but it's less sour and more fizzy. I'm gonna pour the kefir into the swing top bottles and give the berries to our hens. treat for you. Chickies. Hi. Come here. It's your favorite. Blackberries. Yeah. Those are good, huh? I'm afraid. You're afraid? <laughs> mm, you love it. All right, let's see what Kaliki's up to now. So today I just wanted to show you how good my good boy Momo is and cut his nails. He might let me do it all easily, or he might be a little wild because I just got him riled up. You ready? We cut your nails. You sit for me. Sit. Good boy. Give me your hand. Whoa! <laughs> One hand at a time. Let's see. Just wait. You good boy? Good boy. Yes. You so good. You put on such a good show for the people. You so good. Now give me this hand. So this nail here broke a little while ago. I waited a little too long. And it looks like most of his nails are actually okay. Hey, hey. Come on. Come back. Momo. Give me your hands. Come on. Good boy. Looks like just mainly this one. You want to make sure you do it parallel with their nail. You don't want to get the quick, the pink part. Just cut it off. He's out of here. Well, you guys get the idea of what we're doing and how good he is. He loves it. You gonna cut my nails now? You wanna cut my nails? Good boy. Okay, go. One of my most favorite things to do is play with this frisbee. <laughs> Hope you had fun watching him, just as much fun as we did playing. It's wonderful to be getting some rain here in the desert. It's definitely going to calm down the smoke. I hope all of you in Oregon, California are getting plenty of rain too. I really hope those fires go out soon. I'm just so happy.
We hope you had a good time watching what we do with our pets and the things we do for our pets. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of Desert Dwelling. See you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Momo, say bye. Chicken head. A chicken head. You're a chicken head. You're so cute. Can you say hi to the camera? Momo, you wave. Give me your hand. Hand. Sit down, Momo. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. Give me your hand. Good boy. You're so good. I love you. Bye. You're such a good boy. Okay, get out of here. Come